Hi there, I'm Doggy Dan from the online dogtrainer.com. This is Little Moses, whom I picked up from the SPCA, and this video is part of Project Moses. <coughs> Knowing what rule to sort of apply when your puppy or your dog is barking um, in their crate or in a penned area, or in an area maybe separated from you by a baby gate, or maybe your older dog is outside barking through the glass window or door. And knowing what rule to apply in terms of when do you let your dog in and, and uh, when do you just ignore them, that's a really good question. It's a really good thing to understand, which is why I've made this video, which should be pretty straightforward. Um, and it's basically, it's all about Pavlov's theory. Ivan Pavlov was a, a Russian scientist in the area of physiology and psychology and what he basically developed was this theory that um, dogs could learn that let's keep it very straightforward and applicable to what we're doing say if a dog barks and you open the crate and let them out then they can learn that if they bark you will open the crate door and let them out and that's Pavlov's theory and that is something that you don't just need to learn and remember for um, your puppy in the crate but it also applies to every single aspect of their learning they apply this sort of theory throughout their entire lives if they jump up at you and you pat them yes they will keep jumping if they hang around the table and they're given scraps yes they will hang around the table for the rest of their lives and expect to be given scraps if you call your puppy to you sometimes and you're angry and frustrated and you shout at them or tell them off then they'll remember that that sometimes when you call them by their name and they come running, you tell them off. So let's apply it to um, what I re the real reason I made this movie, which is to help you understand when to let your puppy out of the crate. It's pretty simple. You really want to be avoiding ever letting your puppy out of the crate when they're crying. Full stop. That's the rule. That's what you're trying to achieve. Now, look, I, I understand it's not always easy um, to achieve that. However, there's a number of things you can do. Here's dear Moses. He sat in my, um, in my office here next to me and he's in his crate and this is the noise he's making it's day two and i'm already switched on i know that if i let him out he'll learn from day two he's eight weeks old but i've had him two days he will learn that when i make this noise i open the door now look what happened i ignored him he made all that noise he does calm down he actually just settles himself down which is why i've got this little series of videos here for you to watch i'm not just making it up but there is a catch. You have to make sure, A, he doesn't need the toilet. B, he is not thirsty as can be and desperate for water. C, he, that he's not hungry as can be. And D, that he's actually been exercised and he's actually tired out. As you can see, he was actually exhausted. The little boy was exhausted, but he's trying it on. So you've got to cover all your bases. Is he warm enough? Is he safe? Has he been fed, watered, exercised? Has he got all of his needs? Have you fulfilled his needs? And if the answer is yes, then I really suggest that you put Pavlov's theory into practice and you ignore him. That way you're actually training him. Look, you don't tell me what to do, when to let you out, because otherwise you are making a rod for your own back. Remember, you've got this dog for 12 more years. And uh, you've got to ask the question, are you the leader or the follower? Follower, Are you making the rules for your dog and showing him how to behave or is he starting to train you? Because trust me, puppies will start to train you at eight weeks old. It's almost like Pavlov's theory is pre-programmed into their wonderful, beautiful, um, logical little minds. They are so logical, so much more logical than we are as humans. That's my belief anyway. Now, two other really important uh, little tips to help you. Firstly, if you have a puppy who's maybe been whining away for half an hour and you're thinking, what do I do? What should I have done? Have I made a mistake? The first thing to do is ask yourself, have you maybe forgotten something? Have you not fulfilled your puppy's needs? Maybe they need a drink. Maybe they're desperate for water. Have they been fed? Have they got toys? Have they got lots of things to do? Or are they bored out their mind? And have you exercised them fully? Maybe they really are saying, I need to get out of this little crate, crate or this penned area. If that's the case, you need to sort that, sort that all that stuff out and, uh, and make sure they're happy when you put them away in the little area. The second thing is you may just have a puppy who's saying, come on, it's been an hour and now I want to come out because you normally let me out after an hour. And you're thinking, well, I'm happy for my puppy to come out, but I don't want to open the pen until they stop barking. And you're asking the question, how long do they have to be quiet for before you let them out? And the answer is, look, if your puppy 
gives you a 10 or 20 or 30 or maybe a minute's silence, seize the moment and say, well, at least they're giving me a bit of silence. Let them out when they're calm rather when, than when they're actually barking. You never want to open that door when they're excited and barking. So they learn. Even if it's only, I've been quiet for 20 seconds, they learn that. And the next time they learn to be quiet for 30 seconds and then a minute, then two minutes. And very soon they learn that when they are quiet and calm, the door opens. If you do it the other way around and reward them, then you can guarantee your logical little dog will get it barking open the, the door. And that's obviously not what you want. So remember Pavl Pavlov's theory. It's a great one for all areas of training your dog. I'm Doggy Dan. For more information about training your puppy, for more information on Project Moses, then check out my video website, theonlinedogtrainer.com.